Okay guys, so today we are working on our apocalypse save file. So we are going to distress this house. Sorry, that was a bit fast. Let's get this place kind of looking dingy. I mean, the house is kind of crap on the begin with. Like, what is this? There's no peak. It's just the water's just gonna fall right into the window frame and rot it out. My goodness. Realism is necessary. <laughs> I have owned a home for far too long. I cannot handle it. Okay, so the shingles look like crap. They were only 30 year shingles. I wish we had some that, you know. Distress, maybe we'll add some, like they had to to redo it because the shingles blew off but like at different times so okay that should be all right oh oh look there's skylights in that one i don't know if i want that one <laughs> we'll do that one it has the shotgun holes in it right and we'll do something like that like it's been a long time And we will add that to the pile. I feel like I want some more. <laughs> that works to me. Okay, where is some gravel color? Gravel. There. Now let's work on getting some siding. Crappy, crappy siding. Should we do like I'm laughing here because I just see I could totally bunker out this place. You know, maybe I should. It's kind of funny. We'll just maybe put, when they put up the flashing in the new ro roof, they had extra corrugated metal that they could put on here. The windows suck, but I can't, I don't know if I can change these suckers. I wish, mm, I really want like broken yucky windows. Just dirty and nasty. I know these are all just gone. And I'm sorry, but you don't get oh, a wall there apparently. No, you don't get the fire extinguisher. There's, there's no one coming to save you, so there's no point. But let's, let's figure out this. You got crap wood? Not really, is there? How about that? That kind of looks better, doesn't it? Looks a little more run down. Looks like the paint chipped right off of it. That side edging is, it's gone. It blew off in a wi b really big windstorm. It, nobody knows where it is. Maybe the repo guy came and took it back. That could be, that could be it. See, these are far too nice, but there's no good option to, to change their colors. It's like, it's, pretty or pretty and nobody wants that can't really change it out because there's no like chipped version of anything okay i think we'll get rid of the bushes my vampire pack everything's dead how's that <laughs> it looks a little grody grody i mean there everything is dead on that side there hmm do we got a hedge oh we don't have a nice dead hedge um let's get into our debug stuff and let's see ah, i guess we could use the debug bush because it it's free. It's grown wildly out of control, like most bushes that uh, aren't looked after. I don't like that fence, so we're gonna change it up a bit. It's not gonna be vampire fence, cause oh, it's not quite right. I feel like I'm missing something here. It's in werewolves, where is it? Aha, this one. There we go. 
That's great. Okay. <laughs> we'll fence the children in. It's the apocalypse for crying in the ditch. Got to have compound vibes. And you got to put your garden in the sunshine or else things don't grow. And I don't like where that's sitting. And to be honest, that is, we, there's no propane in the apocalypse. So we will need to get some outdoor barbecue stuff here. This, this one. This would, this would work. That one, like anything, we'll put anything that has functionality off the grid. Are, are they all function off the grid? That's a lie. <laughs> I guess maybe they could all be briquettes, but I mean, this one would be, this one would be better. <gasps> I like that one. <laughs> okay, I like that one. It's just a hole in the ground with some fire. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and we'll get rid of some trees. Oh, I can add some vampire ferns in. All surrounded by these beautiful trees. I gotta figure out how to fix the world. I think I gotta figure out tool in that scary. And this is the family graveyard because the people who lived here, I'm sure, are just dead. They did not survive the initial turning, so th they're definitely dead. That tree, this tree, has turned into this tree, okay? It, it's scary and it's spooky. It'll work. They, I think they tried very hard with the garlic. Beautiful garlic. <laughs> on every window they tried, except they didn't realize that uh, it was not just the vampires that came out of the darkness. It was werewolves too, and not the good kinds. Not the fun-loving werewolves. They were the bad ones. Do we have lights? Okay, we're gonna turn the lights off here never gets dark dark here, does it? Okay, I found some debug grass. I'm just gonna stick it around in places that I find. I, I will probably do that a lot. I'm not gonna show you every time I go off the rails and add things I find in debug because I love debug, but it distracts me like to no end. So I ended up just coming back and using these. I added a few things from debug into the front yard. Um, but otherwise, I've got a few things there, but let's kind of dirty up this floor. It, it can't be this nice all the time. Now we get to go inside and trash the place. Oh no, mom, grandma's dining room set is all just gone. <laughs> this is my favorite part. I like trash in the place. It's former glory is gone. It is a ghost of itself. I will keep like built in stuff, but like someone's gonna come along and take fridges and stoves and decorations. And yeah, it's, it's not gonna be nice. That'll be broken, so that won't even be nice. Those will be trashed. Curtains will be used to be burnt. Um, um, someone may have left this cursed painting, so we'll leave that because it's kind of creepy and I like it. Um, we will get rid of that. These, oh, I want to keep these, but oh, that might be better. It looks a little bit older, but yeah, everything else is like gone. Or it's just the gone. Creepy mirror can stay. <laughs> oh, and it doesn't, no. It, it's one of those that doesn't like to move on the wall. This is empty, we can work with this. Now let's try and find some flooring that can go without, go throughout the entire build. Rustic subfloor. That sounds perfect. It's like somebody ripped up the flooring. <gasps> 
and all that's left underneath is like the plywood the yucky ugly plywood okay but we want this plywood because it somebody ripped up the carpet and it there's just it's if you've ever lifted up carpet you know how gross and dirty and girl and gucky it is underneath usually where are the stains the stains are in decorations in here right yes oh look at that but it's gotta be red somebody died <laughs> somebody died here right in the corner is yucky yep it's not not good i tell you there was a struggle oh somebody scratched up that mm-hmm yep totally did that somebody's kitty cat smashed things you'll have to put them in twos because i mean everybody has two feet right and muddy paw prints everywhere and but we gotta shrink them so that it looks like maybe mice tracks or something mm, where could we put this gotta shrink it trying to hide the marks maybe i want grunge let's find some grunge items definitely shabby moth torn eaten yuckiness not cute what is the opposite of the cute guys what is the opposite oh we got a really crappy fan in here and we'll put some outdoor seating in add that in i know i have a whole bunch of vampire stuff or vampire werewolf stuff in this place but it's just i like the shabbiness of it all this is the living room this is the eating nook. It's supposed to be pretty fancy, but it's not anymore. I don't think anybody would want their backs to the doors here. So um, I, I'm gonna leave those two spots open. So, you know, just in case the monsters come through the front door, they have a place to run. There was some really yucky ones in, in city living, right? Yes. Yes, those were so gross. Okay, this is as close as we can get to that wallpaper being moldy and disgusting. I love it. Okay, let's go into wall decor and... I'm gonna just quickly do this because I will zone out and not talk, so I'll be very boring. So I'm just going to do this really fast. Okay, so now I am moving on to the bathroom and the bathroom tiles are pretty gross. We'll just use this and then go back into here and use some of the mold and... Oh, you can't see the mold in this. It's such a small little place. Uh, who puts their toilet paper that far away from the toilet? That's kind of yucky. Okay, and then some big scratches. Okay, now we'll move on to now the tiles for the floor. I love these tiles. We are using these tiles. Or should we use these? That? Yeah, you know what? Let's use that. I haven't used this one in a forever. This place has seen better days. The blood, the bleed. And then you gotta add, gotta add some marks like somebody got tossed against a wall. <laughs> I'm really getting into this. This is just not, probably not a good thing, but it's fun. Gross. I love it. I love the grossness. Okay, so. This is a fairly useless kitchen. We've got an oven in outside. We got this. So we don't really need a real stove in the house because, I mean, we're just, it, they'll probably just burn the place down anyway. It's not good. 
It's not good to have it. There is no place to eat in the apocalypse. Now, this sucker could definitely be it. That looks like an old tiny one that will work actually. And then, yeah, like any, any stoves or anything, they're not the greatest. If anything, it'll just look like they've got a stove for warmth in the kitchen. Now, let's see. Oh, a tire. Oh my God. <gasps> a tire. <gasps> we need the camper uncle in the yard. Well, of course. I want one of these. So bad, like functional. I, I want one. Um, what else? What else do we have that we might need in the apocalypse? Oh, the toilet, the tiny toilet. We need an off the grid toilet. My shower, I don't think is a is an off the grid toilet or shower. I mean, um, <laughs> oh, well, we definitely need this. It's a camper's t shower. Oh, there we go. Just have it outside because this is exactly what it looks like when you're having like in the middle of nowhere and you're you're camping and you need a shower. Uh, it, no privacy whatsoever, but yeah, it's there. I'll leave. I'll leave the pop-up shower here. Um, let's give them. It's a challenge, so it's off the grid mold. And sh 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 what else? I'm not giving them simple living. That would be just a little bit too hard. Let's use Grody. And then this one is definitely, it's peace and quiet full. It's really great uh, and breezy. And I think, I mean, all the walls are there. <laughs> so it's a homey, it's homey. It will be fine. Okay, let's move back or let's move upstairs. Nobody gets anything nice in this house. I'm not giving any of the kids like um, their night lights and stuff because I mean, it's the apocalypse. Uh, if you can't make friends with the monster under your bed, you certainly can't make friends with the monsters outside your bedroom door. Fend for yourselves. This is a huge bathroom. Why is it so huge? Um, let's shrink this. Beds, 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 crappy beds. Okay, that looks like a sleeping bag. Nobody sleeps with their head towards the door. Everybody's like camped out. The little campers are going to be literally camping out with old linen that they found around the house. And then I want like the crappiest beds ever for the rest of the house. A dirty double. I love it. Practically sleeping on the floor. It's beautiful. I kind of hope that there's some babies in this little save. So there's that. Okay. Now toddler bed. We're, we're getting them covered here so they can have all the toddler kids and babies and we need to populate this safe um they don't get really anything else nobody else gets any fun either my place is a little messy like it's supposed to be oh i should probably put Okay, so I, I did put some wooden stuff around here because maybe they might like need to craft some stuff and get them outside a little bit. But yeah, this this is our newest house in the neighborhood and I hope it's grungified perfectly. Um it's it's gonna be it's gonna be great. I love it. I love it already. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're always notified whenever I post another apocalypse build. All right, guys, 
see you later.